you get the complete set with this printer. This is the printing plate. There is one cartridge, premium solvent cartridge. 2000 mAh battery. This is an international pin charger. There's one USB drive. This can be used to transfer or print logos, transfer some Excel files that you can print on the uh, printer, that you can use it to print on the printer. This is some elastic rollers, extra. Okay. And along with that, you also get this one stylus. Okay. So, We also provide you a bottle of acetone or probably a wash solution, you can say. This is actually used to clean the cartridge. I'll tell you in a later stage. So let's connect and switch on the printer. This is the battery. You press this button to switch it on and off. Okay, this is basically an encoder switch or probably uh, a sensor switch you can say this is power connector right whenever your battery has ran out if you want to directly use it uh, with the power connection you can always connect your adapter to this and you'll be able to use it directly this is rollers to guide the printer this is another ruler that will give the command to this encoder switch okay this is your trigger button you press this button to give the command to print now let's understand the UI user interface. You see a few options here starting with text, date, number, barcode, image and function. Now let's say I have to delete this. I'll click on it, edit. I'll click on delete and OK. Now if I have to enter first line, let's say batch number one two three and if i have to enter another text let's say mrp rupees one two three okay now the next line has come here what we'll do is we'll hold it with the stylus drag it just like this so now if you enter if you have to enter another line which will be manufacturing date 01012023 this is again come here so what you'll do is you hold it and drag it Let's suppose you want to enter one more line. So what we'll do is we'll have to reduce the size of this line by pressing here. So if you see, if you touch A minus, it will reduce the size. If you touch A plus, it will increase the size. So let's say A minus, then I'll write this one to top and again A minus. Just leave slight gap between the two lines. I'll touch this one and reduce the size again. So now we can enter in the line, let's say uh, it will be expiry 010101 and again I'll write this to here, reduce the size, okay. Now let's suppose I want to enter the fifth line too. What I'll do, I'll click on text again. Let's suppose I want to type radiance. I'll reduce the size.
So you'll have five lines that you can print together. Okay. Now, how do we start printing? Is we'll keep this printer aside. Just use a plain tissue. Okay. Open the lid. Use the tissue and drag it like this. You will see two lines. Okay. We will now connect the cartridge to the printer. Ensure that it has come out completely. And then we will lock it. This is how you lock the cartridge. Now to give the command, I will touch print. I will touch start. And we will press the trigger button once. Like this. And then we will roll it. Okay. And we will roll. Okay. And roll. Okay. And roll. Okay. And roll. Now, let's suppose you want to print on plastic pouch. We'll use this printing plate. So this printing plate basically is a guider that will help you to print on the pouch. How do we do that? Is you keep it wherever you want to print. Just keep some gap from here till here so that it start printing from here. And then I'll give the trigger move. You see, it has printed. Let's use another pouch. I'll keep it here. Keep the command. I'll pause this back. Now this is how you basically print lines. I'll give you some information more on this. Uh, so before we do that, switch off the printer. Remove your cartridge. Ensure that you never leave your cartridge on the printer while you are entering data or details on the printer. Whenever you do that, the rem any leftover ink on the nozzle of the cartridge will be dried and you will not be able to print properly. So I'll switch it on again. Now, this is where, for example, this message that you type is for one particular product. I want to save it. I'll just click on save as. I'll say, let's say, I'll delete this. And I'll type product one. So this file is saved. Whenever you want to load it, click on load. This is the file, open. Okay. This is the image function. Whenever uh, the USB drive. So let's say if you want to print a logo, you transfer an image file onto the USB drive, connect the USB drive here, and you will be able to find the list here of the files loaded on the USB drive. Okay. Uh, there are some more settings that I can tell you. Okay. So if you file some data that you're not able to, re to uh, restore or anything like that, if your print uh, is not functioning properly, always click on restore. It will restore all the data and you'll be able to use it as new. Okay. Okay. Now calibration is something that you will be required when, for example, if you are trying to click on a particular function and it's not printing, uh, it's not uh, giving any sense of touch, then you click on calibrate. It will give you some uh, square options on, on the screen. You just have to touch that square option and it will recalibrate the entire screen for you. That's the basic of this particular printer on how to use. Okay. Last thing. I have to tell you about is cartridge okay this cartridge is basically very sensitive it's a solvent ink cartridge okay of radiance brand now to give you clarity uh, anytime you have left your cartridge open uncleaned now if you see this there is some ink left over okay now this ink will dry out and it will block the nozzle if you see right so if the nozzle is blocked you will not be able to print properly you will see lines coming in the print so ensure that it's always cleaned sometimes 
let's say if you have forgotten to clean the cartridge use this bottle open it ensure you drop two drops either on this or directly on the tissue and just wipe it once twice and that's it you're good to go okay so ensure that uh, the cartridge is always maintained okay to ensure that this uh, cartridge is giving you good mileage and you're able to print considerably all right thank you so much